Hey everyone, it's Tammy, and I am here with another book review for you. Hmm, that's kind of a fun rhyme. Okay, so the book I'm reviewing this time, hold on, gotta go to the prop department here, is, again, Reflection, because it's a library book, it's got the shiny cover. Um, it's Tracy Chevalier's book called A Single Thread, and as you would expect from Tracy, it's a historical fiction novel. Um, it's set some years after World War One, but not quite World War Two, approaching World War Two, and the main character Violet has lost her um, her brother and her fiance in World War One, and so she's kind of trying to find her feet in life now. Uh, she's dealing with a mother that's kind of a bit. She's a, her mother's a bit of a jerk. Um, she's also trying to she's moving out from under her mother's feet and she's gonna go establish a life in Winchester on her own and um, she's taken a job as a typist and she's just kind of trying to find friends trying to find maybe some romance if she can and she's just really trying to fit in and trying to be her own woman in a world where if you're not married and or taking care of a parent, then you're a very strange woman. Um, she falls in with a group of, I say falls in like she's joined a gang. She falls in with a group of women who do embroidery for her, for Winchester Cathedral. And um, that is actually, it, it's more interesting than it sounds. Um, she then, she also meets a bell ringer named Arthur and she starts to, you know, kind of get some friends and stuff like this. So, what did I really like about the book? I liked Tracy's writing. This could have been a super boring topic because there's, while there's, you know, a fair amount of stuff that happens in the book, it's not really like a lot of things going on in the book. So it could have been really boring, but Tracy's language and the way she just kind of presents everything, it was really just, like, it really sets a picture and just, you really can see everything going on. And so I really enjoyed that. Um, what did I not like? I didn't like Violet. I did not like the main character. Most of all the side characters are far more interesting than Violet herself. Um, there's two women who are in love with each other and that relationship was interesting because they're trying to hide it. Um, they're, her mother and her brother are interesting characters, but Violet herself, she's kind of boring. She doesn't, she doesn't seem very proactive, even though she has like left home when she shouldn't, you know, when people are telling her she shouldn't have. She is kind of strong in that way. But in a lot of other ways, she just things just kind of happen to Violet and she just kind of goes along with it, it seems. Like, she's not sure if she wants to be friends. She's kind of uncomfortable being friends with the um, lesbian couple. But yet, she doesn't, she's kind of prejudiced against it, but she's almost like, she's not, sure if she's prejudiced so she just kind of falls into being friends with them so you know which ends up being a very good thing because she understands them better than anybody else does but it's it does kind of feels like Violet is just being sort of like pushed along through the novel instead of like actively taking part in it and that was a little kind of disappointing because I think Violet could have been a more interesting character than she is and also I'm going to say right now Spoil alert, so if you don't, if you haven't read this book and you plan on reading this book, skip past the next maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Violet has almost no money throughout the book. She's always complained about not having any money. And so she's basically almost starving to death in some points. Well, she's not starving to death. She's just really like losing a lot of weight because she's so hungry. But yet, she does something and ends up getting pregnant and she thinks this is the most wonderful thing in the world. 
seriously? <laughs> no. Um, so, okay, spoiler alert over, anyway. And it's also, I did find it a little ridiculous that uh, Violet, she, she's been like not eating hardly anything at all throughout the book. And then she gets like a couple nice dinners and suddenly she's gained all this weight. Okay, a couple nice dinners aren't gonna make you fat. Well, maybe they are really nice dinners. Anyway, so I did enjoy this book. I liked reading it. It was a very enjoyable read. It was, it was a pleasant read, shall we say. It was very calm and, you know, nice to escape into a different time period for a while. But um, I would probably give it maybe three and a half stars if I was forced to, maybe three and three quarter. Um, if you liked Tracy's other work, such as Girl with a Pearl Earring, Remarkable Creatures, things like that. You will enjoy this book. Um, if you're looking for a really in-depth World War I era novel, maybe skip this one because it's not really about the, war the wars. Um, that's all I have to say about it. I liked it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> so that's all there is. I'll chat at you next time. Bye.